Hello, and welcome to my third and final video of my Command & Conquer Tiberium Alliances tutorial. Um, today we're going to be looking at the defensive side and how to um, protect yourself against invaders and bad people. Obviously, you won't need to do this for a while. I'd base, basically, you know, do all the economics and, you know, preparing yourself, maybe even do your attack more, because you've got um, base protection for a while, so get your money and then kind of last minute last hour or so you can just build a whole load of defenses you don't you know you don't really need it so far also in my first video I forgot to tell you about building a refinery and that allows you to obtain credits which are up here I've been doing that for about an hour or so I've just been uh, playing around you know getting some more things so I could just quickly pull out a video and end it all off for you because you know these are quite easy to do and it's quite fun for me uh, up here is your, I don't think I've been through this, this is your kind of like main menu bar kind of thing, you know, you can go to a forum if you're going to join an alliance, which is one of the um, challenges, which is good, but um, if you want to do that, don't you know, because it's quite hard to do getting into an alliance, because you need to have somebody invite you, or create your own, I don't know, I haven't really done it that much, um, messages from other players, reports, which are... Uh, not too sure. On, oh, offensive and defensive, like if you attack a base, which I did last one, you get the report. Here it is. I completely destroyed them with uh, 5%, so took some damage, but not a lot. Uh, ranking inventory. This is when you basically attack someone that you can get supply crates, and these supply crates come here, and then you can activate them at certain times, giving you more command points and more stuff like that. Um, okay, so let's go on to the buildings which I've created. I've created this, the defense facility. This allows you to upgrade units which you've purchased or um, it unlocks them basically, so you can use them. So let's say we upgrade it to level 10, we'll be able to unlock level 10 kind of bit, uh, defense abilities. Like with the offensive command center and uh, HQ thing, uh, the construction yard, you can just, um, the more you upgrade them, the better things you can get. Over here is much is the defense HQ, which is much like the command center. Um, the higher you upgrade the command center, I mean, defense HQ. Look where I go again. Um, the more things you can get, like um, uh, different, like with the command center, you can get more army, more vehicles, more people, more planes, and shit like that. So here I go. I'm going to go straight into the defense icon, which is like a little turret and a wall. I'm going to straight away build some stuff. Right, let's get some walls up. These are very, they're all very cheap, as you can see, straight away. Um, as you can see from the field, this is where your attackers will have to come up. So, all these like long roads until you get, you know, you want to block up straight away, probably with, you know, some walls and some MGs and, and these MGs here. But what will slow them down are these. These are different pieces. This is your terrain, and this will slow them down um, quite a lot, to be fair. So they don't really need to be blocked straight away but I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely wall it off that's what I think I should do up to you what you do to be honest but they will slow them down and then having a wall at the end of it will completely you know, slow them down they will break down the wall but um, if what, I, what I'm going to do now is put some MG turrets behind it behind them Oop. some MG turrets behind them so you know, as they're trying to break down the wall, the MG turrets just shoot, 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 shoot. So it kills them off. Which would be nice. Here's another one. I'm just going to put as many as I can behind them. And hopefully, they will all die. If anybody tries to invade. It seems I've run out of command points. But that's, I think that's quite a lot, to be fair. Right, as you get to a higher level, you will be able to take away these swamps and stuff. If you want to build better defence or upgrade your walls and shit like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to upgrade everything to like ooh, level 7 apparently. There we are, level 7. I'm going to do the walls first. 7. As you can see they don't change much but you only can upgrade them to the um, maximum of your defense HQ. Uh, same with the uh, uh, attack vehicles and stuff. If your if your attack uh, if your um, command center is only a certain level, that's the only level your things can go up to. 
you, have, you don't have a maximum level on these. You can go up to whatever level you like. Just obviously, the cost will be extravagant. That's what. And that. There we are. Nearly level. Oh, I did that to level eight. I've done some of them to level eight because I've just been talking a lot as well. Let me get these hopefully to level seven because I don't have a lot of resources. But obviously, as you upgrade them, the better they come. I think after level 10, their icon actually changes, which is cool. So um, let's say you get the wall become like bigger and bulkier, and I just you know that'll be something to see. Obviously, I don't think I can upgrade them that much, but look, that's a pretty good defense in my in my situation. Obviously, as you upgrade, as you research stuff and get more credits, you'll be able to pull out loads of shit like that. Um. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to research a pit bull. That's my attack anyway. Um, but you can research stuff for defense, which is here. But obviously it costs quite a lot. You know? So the next thing I'll be getting probably would be predators, missile squad. What else can you get? You can get all oh, loads of stuff. Titan artillery, which looks expensive. And then Sam sites at the end of it. But... I'll just quickly show you how to, you know, research something. Basically, put the points into there. Okay, it cost me 10 credits. And look, boom, boom, boom. You've researched it. I don't think there's much um, waiting time on it. So here we go. And I'm going to go to my offensive. Actually, we're going to go to upgrade my command center. Just, well, I can't upgrade that. Command? Yeah, I can upgrade this. I'll upgrade it twice. There we are, and that means once I go to my offensive, I can actually, oh, I can't get it yet. That's so, oh yes I can. Factory needs to be level three. Upgrade my factory as well. Where is it? Not big, yeah, it's a factory. One, two, three, there we are. Now we should be able to get a pit bull. There we are, I'm gonna put a pit bull on the side there. And there we are. A little bit of pit bull. Also, um, here's a repair. This is where you, how you repair your units. Like as you can see, my uh, soldiers have taken some damage, so let's repair them. Repair all. There you are. Just taking some repair time off. And oh, I also got a uh, an achievement. So that'd be lovely. Let's go attack one more place, just for the hell of it. I feel like I feel like attacking someone. I feel feeling the mood for killing. Sounds really bad. But I am. Let's go kill something. Um, things lagging out again. Let's go to the camp. Uh, this is the camp. Alright, here we are. Let's go up. Let's see what we can do. Right, so it's going to be quite easy to get it. Let's go back down. Let's put... I'm actually going to put you there. So I can hopefully show you how to kill something. I'll also put the pit ball over here. And keep you there. I'm just going to put these like that because although that's not the best offensive, uh, I want to show you some. I really want to show you these guys get slaughtered. So they all get slowed down, but this one will go quite trudging ahead. So let's attack! Come on! Kill them all! Kill them all! Look at them. Look. Ah, that's how we hold them. Look, that's how they fight. They've been murdered completely by my level 5 thing. And everything's just going along, getting blown up. Pitbull's working really well. They're like, um, Pitbull's are more like uh, structure destroyers, because they've got missiles, of course. But you see? There we are. Destroyed them. Total victory. No harm to any of my people, either. So that was pretty good. Return to my region. There we are. And I've got outposts popping up everywhere, because... Basically, I'm next to a tunnel exit, and that, that's not boding well for me. But um, I hope you enjoyed the videos. This is might not be the end of it. You know, I might do a little one later on. if I, I'm going to carry this like thing on, and wait till I get to more of an epic level. And I'll, I'll show you when I attack someone. But for now, this is going to be the end of my Command & Conquer tutorials. I'll probably go into like a uh, new series kind of thing, actually attacking people and, you know, completely obliterating them. But... That's it from me, and that's it from the Reaper, and I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. I just, you know, it's sad to see one of these series ends. But, as you know, my Minecraft, and I'm going to be starting a new series called Spotlight, 
which you might see the next video quite soon. But I hope you liked it, and I hope you loved everything I did in here. Um, if you need uh, any advice on how to play the game, or you know, if you're stuck with anything, email me at um, well, on my YouTube account, and I'll I'll help you out. You know, send me a message. Right, that's me out, and um, hope you have a lovely day, and I hope you have a lovely night. Um, sayonara. <laughs>